post because someone challenged them. They're like, you know, you could probably just say Mark Hamill and you'd get like thousands of likes. So he just tw- tweeted Mark Hamill himself mm-hmm. and then he got like thousands of likes, like tens of hundreds of thousands. And it's like, so they call him, now he's the king of Twitter because all he has to do is like tweet his name and people just go fucking gaga and shit over it. Eh, bow down to me before me. I'm the king of Twitter. Uh, <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> I'm your rightful leader and ruler for all times, all eternities. Zing, zing, zing. I'm going to zing, zang this fucking lightsaber in all your buttholes. Ready? Line up. Yep, the, the brown saber. The return yep. of the brown saber. Everybody on your hands and knees. Ready? Zing, zing, zing. Brown, brown saber strikes back. Uh, he's just going down the line, zinging it in their assholes like he's, <laughs> like he's doing a, <laughs> like he's a sewing machine just stitching away. ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching all the, all the Star Wars fans that are fucking complete nerds just bend yeah. over and fucking get the brown saber. Get their ass cauterized from the brown, from the brown saber. <laughs> oh, I'll never shit again, I guess. I guess I welded shut. Fuck. In like 30 different spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just fuck it. Fuck it. It's over, man. Clasp me bag. Oh. Figure it out. If you're lucky, that, that <laughs> fucking your goddamn shit, your shit stickles in your intestines would be so lacerated to fuck. Just be over, man. Fucking mm. blood poisoning. Zero. Oh! <laughs> that ain't fucking pretty. Fuck. Listen, motherfucker. I picked up the trilogy of the uh, Lord of the Rings on DVD widescreen edition. Wow. With special, special features disc, too. But I didn't have them. They're pretty good. Yep, I've, I've seen them. I'm like a Star Wars nerd when it comes to that. I've seen them many times. Gee. See, I can watch Lord of the Rings a hell of a lot more than I can watch Star Wars. Yeah. See, now I tried watching some of those, a a couple of those more recent Star Wars movies and shit, but it, it always gives the feel like they're trying to fit a smaller story, or like they're doing a smaller story in a larger longer format to fit into some other story that they're going to tell later whereas with the first three that were released I mean I know shit's got to change you can't say the same for but with the first three that were released they kind of almost fucking just stand on their own thing yeah they're epic I mean you, yes and you see those three and you see a kind of a, a bit of a story arc happening there that doesn't really resolve but yet you know, each one ends in a sort of end of chapter way, but stands on its own. I don't know. And the rest of it all just seemed like it was, it was, like I said, just trying to fit into a larger story, but or but implied that it was going to go on for a while. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that in a way that makes sense to me, but. Whatever. Well, then 20 years went by before another one came out, right? Oh, well. And then there was, like, Rogue One, and there was this one. That I, I watched some of them, but I was like, what, Yeah, I, I gave up this? after Jaja ja Banks. I was like, I can't do anymore. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, this is just stupid. Jar Jar Banks. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like a retarded salamander motherfucker. Misa <laughs> Well, it's like they started, to, you could tell they were trying to appeal to kids more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like yeah. the original ones, it was just for, it was for, for everybody. It was for it just, people, man. Yeah, but then it was like, it seemed like goofy and like more kid oriented or something. Uh, the first ones were like sci-fi soap opera shit with lasers and action and, you know, 
oh, it's cool. Or like, you know, drama, I guess. Sci-fi space drama. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Then there's other one. See, and that's the thing. I went to saw. I went to see the episode one. Uh, when that when it came out. It was like the Sith or some shit, or what was it? Yeah, what was it? Let's see. What the fuck was that? What in the world? The sniffer. Yeah, the butt sniffer. It was Joe Biden. Uh, General Champ's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom Menace. Oh, there we go. See, we're not nerds. We don't even know. Duh. A, a 1999 film. Well, I'd, I'd nerd out all day long on the first on the first three releases because they were just fucking awesome and mind bendy. And, like, created a whole new fucking genre and universe of things that was created out of that. Yeah, the Phantom Menace was, was that the guy with the red fucking face? Yeah, I think so. And he had, like, teeth and little horns or some shit. Yes, and after that it was, uh, episode two was Attack of the Clones in 2002. Oh, wow, 2002? Holy shit. It was that the one with Jaja Binks? Uh, yes, I think so. I think, I think Jar Jar Binks is in The Phantom Menace also. I think he was, I think he was there from that first new episode thing. Uh, episode three is Revenge of the Sith. And that was a cool movie. I liked that. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, wait. I don't know if I have seen that. It's The Phantom Menace. That's when... Isn't that when they had the, the, uh, Darth Maul, the dude with the horns on his head and the double-sided saber? Wasn't he in that Phantom Menace? He comes jumping off, his, when he's introduced, he comes jumping off like a small, like, like one-man kind of flying craft. He's coming in at fucking top speed, and he just jumps off the thing, and it goes flying away and crashes, and he fucking rolls in, and he's just like instantly just fucking battling the shit out of people, man, just, blam, that's fucking intense, I was like, when he got killed, he got cut in half, I thought it was a chump-ass way to get rid of a fucking badass character, that, although the execution was kind of weird, in that, I thought that in the film, you could see the makeup kind of thing, application, mm -hmm. versus if it was a mask or something, I don't know, but anyway, I may or make it look more tattooed and shit. It just looked very glossy and very kind of like makeup y. Other than that, he was a character that I thought had the potential to fucking rival Vader, man, because he was so badass. But anyway, so Revenge of the Sith, then you had A New Hope, episode 4, that's from 77. That's the fucking shit. That's the start of it all. That's where Obama got his slogan. Yeah. Huh. Plagiarizing from day one. Look at that shit. Uh, then after that, from 77, it jumps to 80. So they were always, I guess, on a relatively about a three-year cycle when they did a shit. To 80 with episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. Hailed by many, I think, to be the best of the Star Wars movies overall. Of all the different episodes. That, I believe, is hailed as the, the best one. Then you have, obviously, episode 6, Return of the Jedi. From 83. Then, from 83, it jumps to 2015. So you're talking... What the fuck? Really? 22 years? No, dude. That's fucking 32 years. Wait, come again? 80, 82 to what? 83 to 2015. So you're automatically talking 15 and 17 is 32. 
It's a 33 year jump to episode 7. Oh. The Force yeah. Awakens. But of course, it's, yeah, well, that's the thing, you see. Let's see. It would be 2005. It was a 10 year, it was a 10 year jump between release releases of episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and episode 7 The Force Awakens so it was a ten- and that feels like a lifetime when you're younger fuck yeah 10 years is a whole childhood for someone yeah I, I pretty much had lost my uh, zeal for it by my ambition point. to see it and then especially when I saw it I was very disappointed yeah. and I was like oh 10 years for this fuck because you're talking... <laughs> okay, so 2015 was The Force Awakens, Episode 7. Episode 8 in 2017 was The Last Jedi. And episode 9 in 2019 was The Rise of Skywalker. And that was that on that, homie, homie G. Now I know. I'll keep all that cataloged in my brain. So I can have conversations with Star Wars nerds. You better. Otherwise they're going to zing my fucking lightsaber in your butthole. Being a piece of crap. Yeah. Hashtag Mark Hamill. Oh, everybody loves me. Yeah. Listen, Mark Hamill, fucking king of Twitter fag. Sit down. Shut up! Eh, I don't have to listen to you. He's probably good friends with the bearded fucking homo. Jack the Fagwise, or whatever the hell his fucking fuck face is. Jack Dorsey. Fucking homo. Dorksey? Yeah. Uh, corkscrew motherfucker. Jack Dorksey. Wow. Oh. Listen, Dorksey. Where were you on 9-11? I was sitting right here. What? It's 9-11. Damn it, ass. Actually, I was getting ready to go work. And I had, I remember I had a check from a customer because I was doing this pretty big paint job on exterior, like this three-story stucco house. Mm -hmm. And I'd done a lot of patching on it, and then I was going to use this special paint, you know, for stucco. And uh, I I was going to drive out there, but on the way, I think I was going to go to the bank and cash it. And then it was like a shitty bank or something. And so I was getting ready to leave. And then the wife, she was pregnant with my son. It's kind of hanging out at the house. And like she turned on the news. It's like, so it was the morning, right? It was like nine or 10 in the morning. Yeah. If I recall, it was kind of early. Not super early, but. And I'm like, trying to rush out the, you know how you get when you're like trying to go out to work and you're oh, yeah. grabbing your shit she's like oh Jess she's like come look she's like this plane like crashed into a building in New York in a trade center in trade towers and I was like huh and I was like and then I came out and I'm like looking at it and it's like smoking <clears throat> and I was like huh what the fuck I was like, oh. And then, uh, then I think the other one hit while I was watching. And I'm like, huh. I'm like, yeah, that's not normal. I was like, one, one's pretty unusual, but two, that something's up. I was like, oh. like we're, we're under attack, is what it, it looks like to me, you know? Like, one's bizarre, two's a pattern. Yeah, and I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, here we go. Fucking World War Three. 
That's like because you, you kind of thought more was going to happen, right? 